What's going on, guys? It's C C A, and today we're going to play some more Civ Six. You guys um, enjoyed the last one, so I'm getting a continuation from where we left off last time. I actually, just stole this little guy, this settler from Scotland, and they're not too happy about that, so we are indeed in a war with them, but stealing that settler from them was honestly so worth it, so I am super, super happy with that. Unfortunately, this scout looks like he might just be as good as dead here. Um, I think I've opened borders with the Kree here, so I might just be able to escape. Yes, I can. Beautiful. Um, so he won't actually be dead, but we do have some Scottish troops coming in to try and take us out. I might bring my archer back to Visu just a little bit here so that they're forced to either funnel through this way or funnel through that way. But this settler is almost where I want it to be, meaning we'll have our third city online very soon. And that's not good. Scotland has a hero coming in here, which is not good. <laughs> that uh, that could be very, very bad for us. We'll see if this archer can get some shots on, um, on him, but yeah, this is not ideal at all. Let me promote this scout quickly. And we do have another archer coming next turn, but I hope this archer doesn't die immediately. Come on, please don't. <sighs> he didn't die, but he very nearly did. Okay, um, wow, that flood just really screwed me. Okay, we really need to retreat this archer. I wonder if this warrior will stay here. Because if it does, our archer will be saved. But if it doesn't, our archer might be dead. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. But we do have another one available now, which is nice to see. So let's just keep honestly producing more archers to come in and do some damage on that Scottish army. Because we're going to need as much military as we possibly can get our hands on here. Uh oh, okay, the warrior just moved. But he didn't advance with his hero there, which is good to see. Let's bring this archer out. Actually, oh, dang, that might not have been a good play. But, oh well, we've done it. We'll get the iron mine, or we'll get some um, iron working, rather, going right now because. We are in desperate need of some better military units, I think, here. But yeah, this hero is doing a little bit of damage, but nothing crazy. I'm gonna move that traitor over to Lisbon, and then we can finally get this city down the next turn coming up. Let's get some walls ready, and I will hit on Sani this warrior just because he's within the city anyway so he's not going to be able to take any damage uh, this scout can t continue to explore while we do that and I'll bring this archer over here and looks like buddy is going to hit this archer which is actually very annoying I don't think he kills it which is good still extremely annoying. He actually wants to make peace, which you know what? I am fine with. I'm actually very okay with that. He's giving me a little bit of gold as well to help out, so I'm not going to be mad. One thing I do want to check, though, is ooh, one thing I want to check is Great Prophet. We are... Oh, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to get our religion going in time. I hope we are. How many religions are there? Oh my god, there's only one religion left. <sighs> I don't think 
settler. Like I said, it's super important to be getting as many cities going as possible now, I think, because, well, the AI has a distinct advantage over us, being that they started on D80. Let's get this warrior to start going and exploring now, um, because, um, well, I'd like to see maybe more of the map down south here, just to see what's what down there. We'd have enough military over here to warrant that, and let's get another trade route for, you know what, actually, I'll send it over. Now we'll just begin the route, actually, it's fine. We will need some more traders going internationally, though. It's a shame that everybody, nobody's built on the coast, any cities, so trading with anybody on our continent here might be a bit of a challenge. So we might have to start exploring elsewhere. Which is a bit annoying, but oh well. I will definitely take that delegation from you, Lataro. Thank you so much. And let's see, what should I go for? I need to get like builders as well. There's so much I need to start building, but it's good that we get our campuses going online soon as well, so I'm not too mad that we are going for that right now. Let's get the warriors to go out and explore. I would, I wouldn't mind exploring the possibility of getting another war against Scotland here and maybe trying to, like, go for these cities while there's no walls on them. So you know what? I'm going to start making my troops go that way and once we get our campuses built over here we'll start getting some units built looks like we've met venice and it's tough honestly it would be pretty good to get control of venice because we're gonna have so many traders eventually your trade routes to foreign cities earn plus one gold for each luxury resource at the destination could be pretty solid, honestly. Could be, could be pretty solid, could be pretty solid. Man, this builder right here looks, oh man, I'd love to declare war on Lazaro to take that builder, but yeah, it's just in such a, uh, we just became friends with him, so we aren't able to do that, unfortunately. Once this archer is all ready and healed, I'm going to start bringing it to the front line of this potential war. There's another builder that I really might want to steal. Let's see how many turns can I declare a war on them. Um, declare formal war. Okay, I'm going to have to announce them right now, actually. Um, I want to see when can I declare war. Whatever denounce them and we'll be able to declare war on them very soon after that oh oh my god and there's another settler right there bro if we're able to take another settler from scotland that would be absolutely massive for our game seriously i wonder okay the settler is going up top there but there's also a lot of builders here that we could potentially steal oh man this could be huge for us man declaring war in scotland could end up being very very good for us he actually has crossbowmen which is a bit frightening actually but hopefully we can overwhelm that uh them there is units there with just more combat strength if, if we have the uh, ability to I might try to get another hero as well let's bring this archer going over here we will reinforce our units on the borders of Scotland I wonder if he's going to bring his settler towards us or to the east he could bring it up north there is a bit of Free, there's some few free tiles over there. This is going to be very, very important for us to nail the timing of this. Okay, so we've got a builder over here. He still has a hero somewhere over here that we have to be careful of as well. Let's bring our warrior in. Okay, actually it looks like 
which we are unfortunately in a dark age with, but that's okay. Let's start with monumentality because we're going to definitely start getting um, a lot of districts going this age, I think. And we'll keep moving our units in. Are we able to declare war on them yet? We are, but let's just try to get our units close to this settler as oh my gosh we might actually be able to take it okay so we do meet dido i don't know if we'll be able to take it on this turn or not but he's only two tiles away oh this is huge let's go for melee on this plus five combat strength of melee units and um i'll see if i can make myself win this but i doubt it we'll have to see to generate fewer grievances while we're at war with Scotland and we aren't able to get that but we do um, win the plus five combat strength with melee units there we will bring our warrior one step closer there and get our archer in position alongside our warrior and let's discover political philosophy I think I might go for a her into put her into the Vatican if we're able to get the military backing of the Vatican here who we uh, don't have any envoys in so I might put him I might put some envoys into that very very soon but if we have the military backing of oh my god we're going to be able to get this settler if we have the military backing of Vatican then we might just be able to have an advantage winning the here. So let's declare war on Scotland here. Are we able to declare a formal war? We are, so we can generate fewer grievances. There we are. Let's take the settler. That's absolutely massive. This warrior might die because of the crossbowmen, but that's fine. Let's try and get some shots in on this city. Money might do some damage to us, but it is what it is. The main thing is that is that we try and get some of his civilian units here, like this settler. This military force might take a beating, though. Let's try and get open borders with Latara. Will he give us any gold for that? He does. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's actually enter the borders here. And hit next turn, let's see how many of our units die on this turn alone. Okay, so this warrior took a bit of damage. It doesn't look like they're able to get any shots off on our units though, which is massive. Let's get this settler to run along with this warrior. And we'll get our archer to keep taking shots at the city. Maybe... Uh, I want to get a cheeky pillage going on. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, honestly, but you know what? We'll make our warrior run away and get our scout to continue exploring. This is going to be a bit scary now. Oh, gosh. They just built walls on air. I'm surprised this archer isn't dead. Oh, my God. That was a lucky roll on that attack. Let's start retreating our units so that they don't just die now and try to find a nice spot for that settler to start um, putting a city down for us. I Okay, this is frightening because actually Lautaro is, has zero military strength, so we are going to be fighting this war alone now. Here comes his units. We actually just melt, met Trajan. Where is his capital? I don't know how I keep meeting these people. But let's keep running. I might just settle the city over here. There's some good tiles we can settle on. I could even just settle on the wood tile here, but... Just selling on the sheep it might be to us as well so let's bring these units back in this soothsayer it's gonna be very annoying i think it's gonna cause another flood in this city which is annoying but you know it's not the end of the world let's see what they do this crossbowman is coming in hot though <laughs> a 
scary. Okay, we do get political philosophy. I think I'm gonna get greedy and go for classical republic here. We'll go for classical republic. And oh my gosh, I can't believe I have God King in my freaking uh, government planning stuff still. So I think we'll go for urban planning and colonization. We just need to start getting builders up.
maybe some other districts going around it. We'll have to see. But one thing I'm not a fan of is these crossbowmen. So I might get this archer to come back up here. And uh oh, the crossbowmen just crossed the river. Might actually be okay for us though, because if we shoot this crossbowman with this archer, shoot this crossbowman with this archer and get our warrior to come in. I think we are able to kill it. Let's see. No, we're not. Okay, that isn't good. Let's retreat this warrior and get this archer to come in. This settler is in a bit of a sticky situation. I can't really move it yet, so let's get the walls built up once again on this city because his army looks like it might be pretty big. Settler skip its turn and let's see what we can do. Okay, that warrior is dead, which is very unfortunate. And oh my god, he's got a lot of units coming in. Oof, I hope the Vatican is able to help us out. Okay, it actually is. It's killing some units. We actually might be able to kill this crossbowman here, which would be massive. It's gaining a bit of a HP, so let's take it out. Boom. Boom. And if we can get this archer to make it shoot. Beautiful. So that's one crossbowman down, which is massive for us. Um, I think I don't think I'm comfortable moving that settler quite yet either. Um, this is sketchy. Here comes his army. His uns, un, Anansi, oh my god, I've been mispronouncing his name the whole time. Anansi, looks like he's moving away, but whew, this is going to be quite a battle. Let's shoot again. And shoot again. And I think for now we'll have this archer sit right there. Actually, I'm going to start moving this settler over here because now it's protected. And let's go. Let's go for celestial navigation next. I would like to get my harbors going up pretty soon if possible. This is scary. Uh oh. Oh my god, that archer almost died. And oh my gosh, he's going to give us gold to make peace. Let's see if we can get a luxury resource as well out of him. Let's see, can I get... How much gold can I get out of you? Three gold per turn and some honey. Actually, instead of the honey, give me your amber. I don't think I have amber. Yeah, okay. Let's go. So we got a luxury resource and a settler out of... Um, actually, and gold out of making peace with him, which is massive. <laughs> so our galley just got built as well, which is nice. Wants to start doing some exploring with that galley. Um, and let's start getting some builders built here now that we have a bit of a buffer as to, uh, um, like we don't have to really worry much now about getting attacked. I think I might start building some cities more inland. Like, a city over here could be good. Yeah, I think I like the look of that. Let's get a settler down here. Once we get another settler going, I might try to settle somewhere on the coast over here. Man, these... Let's get this promoted. These cities are starting to look better now. We didn't really have many cities to begin with, but stealing those settlers from Scotland absolutely paid off for us. So, so massive. Would like to maybe get some more traders going very soon. Let's get this galley to take out this barbarian ship here, and it actually looks like there's some land over here. Which means we're going to be able to trade with um, doing so, do some international trade very soon with Portugal, which is massive. We really got to start getting those international trade routes going very soon, because I mean that's the reason you want to play Portugal. Let's just get all of our military units to fortify it. But I will bring this archer down into Beja because 
Seems like there's a lot of barbarian ships that are roaming around this area over here. I would like for this little air, uh, bunch of units over here to start running away from my city. Okay, let's get this galley to attack this galley. Bring our warrior up this way. And, oh, actually this galley might have been a mistake, honestly, but we'll have to see if that was the right decision. Everybody fortify, continue to explore, scout. I might try to get open borders with Rome here. And, okay, he'll actually just take a little bit of favor from me, which is nice um, to make it happen. So, we'll continue to get this scout. This scout has actually uncovered so much of the map for me, which is massive. Now the thing I don't like, okay, Scotland, you gotta chill, bro. What the hell is this? You can't just stick a city right there, bro. Yo, Scotland's kind of getting on my nerves. I want to make a promise not to settle near me again. Oh, and he's not gonna listen to me. Okay, that's really annoying. Okay, well, let's, should we put a city right here just to make him stop coming this way? settler going soon I might do that but let's just settle something over here and geez I really need some pr I, uh, actually it would be nice to buy the horses but I need some builders like desperately okay a little barbarian outpost over there let's get our galley back home and make him heal up a little are spreading to our cities. What actually is the Catholic religion? What do we have as the bonuses? Um, international trade routes provide plus two gold to cities with holy districts and an additional plus two gold for every building in the holy district. Honestly, that is pretty massive for our, for like our sieve. We're going to be getting a lot of trade routes going, so you know what? I don't mind the sound of that. Okay, let's get our galley to just take care of that ship so it doesn't harass us any longer. We'll get our scouts to see what's around here. Oh, where is that tribal village? Oh, wow, okay. There's a tribal village over here. Honestly, I would love to try and get a city going over this way. There's a lot of land that looks unclaimed over there, so it would be pretty huge to try and get some settlers going over there. So I think I'm going to just keep bumping settlers out from these two cities so that we can just try to get as much land as possible. Because God knows we need it right now. Let's see. I'm hoping that this galley doesn't end up going down, man. Okay, this, there's a barbarian galley. That's one HP over here. I really hope it doesn't try to attack us. Okay, this builder needs to start giving us some production, so I think I'm going to put a mine here, which gives a bit of error score as well. We've got a settler going there. Let's put you right there and fortify. Would love for the creed to start attacking this barbarian outpost here so that we can maybe try to steal it. Let's get this archer to chill in Visu and settle this city over here. Let's get a... <laughs> Let's get... Should we just go for the campus right away? Because of the plus three adjacency we get from it. Honestly, yeah, I like it. Let's just do that right now and hit next turn. So far, so good in this episode. We've actually done a lot of productive stuff with our, um, with our empire here. Let's get our Catley to go, Catley, Cat. 
Let's do some of the AI for extra gold. Let's declare friendship with Otaro. See if he wants our sugar. He doesn't. Does the Cree want our sugar? Let's see. Oh, he'll do it for 12 gold per turn. Thank you very much. We'll definitely do that. And we'll just get this archer to chill. This archer can chill. All right. Now, like I keep hammering home, it's absolutely essential for us to be getting um, more and more cities going for us. Let's get one more um, sugar online there. And we'll go for games and recreation. And what I think I might also do is get provision from Magnus so that we don't lose the population here in Lisbon and it can continue to grow. I think that will do for us. I think that will do very, very nicely. Okay, there we go. Another camp is built. And another sugar will be built very soon. Let's...
does have pretty good combat strength right now because of its promotion. So let's kill that galley and just hope that this galley doesn't kill ours. Okay, guys, I think, honestly, yeah, I'm going to end it here. We've got some very solid, solid progress in this episode here. Hopefully we can save this galley. Hopefully we can continue to expand this empire and get more cities down and just help out these stats over here because they're not so good right now. But 